you spit. You spit, you spit everything. Let's talk about this. Airing, a wine. A wine getting oxygen breaks down the tannins, especially, mainly for red wines. But even white wines, it doesn't hurt. You wanna swirl the wine as much as possible. The more oxygen getting in, the more it's gonna open up, the less of that bitterness, the tannins that so many people are scared of. I even recommend that if you're drinking wine, that you pour it in your glass at nine in the morning and come back at night at like four or five and taste it. That much air is good. Anything you can give it, or when you first get home, if you wanna keep a one or two hour window. Next, the sniffy sniff. Most people are not smelling their wines enough, so you really wanna get in there. It's such a big miss in the whole process. People are just not patient and go right to drinking it. The more you smell, the more you're gonna get the nuances, the more the flavors even start coming into the tongue. Then, you put it in the mouth, and you wanna get into as much of your mouth as possible. Almost like mouthwash, but not getting that crazy. Then blowing in the air, and you wanna practice this in a shower. Cause yeah, there's no problem. You get the and you go You wanna do like almost that bird sound. I'm trying to figure out how I spit. How I spit is I put my lips in like a, we'll go shooting. I tighten them up to the best of my ability. Like this. And then force it like a So by doing that, you're able to really get it focused and out and not all over yourself. But that's why I have the wristband. In case I do, a little cleanup act.